Welcome aboard, explorers! Mr. Ray here, your science teacher for the day. Let's get this show started. I want all optical orbits up front, and remember, we keep our super esophageal ganglion to ourselves. That means you, Jimmy. And hello, it's me, Ross. You monsters make sure that your tentacles and horns are not blocking anyone's view. And no food or drinks in the exhibit. Let's get started. At Pixar, on any given day, we're working on various stages of many films. But it all begins with an idea. For example, Toy Story could have started like this. We can't leave the room. The toys come to life. See, I always knew that my toys did that. Our films start in story. Along with the director and the writer, we figure out what happens using simple drawings. It's kind of like a comic book. Exactly. And while we're drawing, production designers and their teams start designing the world and the characters. While they're painting and drawing and sculpting, our storyboards go to editorial, where they string together all the drawings that we've created. We time them out, add music, dialogue, and sound effects. He was the only one who knew what the heck was going on! And as these shots go through each stage in production, we'll update this scene over and over again. And this is where the science and the math come in. making the film you'll see in the theater, and this happens in a particular order. It's time for our technical artist to figure out how to create the movie in the computer. I've been here for nine years, and I still have no idea how you guys turn our drawings into the finished film. To be honest, something steps us up every movie. Hey, Galen. Hey. Uh, you've been here since Toy Story. What's been hard on each film? Well, on Toy Story, everything. Here, let me show you. On Toy Story, we were inventing the entire process from scratch. Monsters Incorporated, fur and clothing. On cars, reflective metal surfaces. On every new film, there's a new technical challenge. On Inside Out, we had to deal with a character made of blowing particles. And it took lots of people to figure out just that one thing. Whoa, what is she made of? Her shape will be made of points and particles of light. She was tough. This is the 17th version. And the characters have to move. So someone has to add controls to the model. Like a puppet, right? Yes, except instead of strings, our animators will use a computer program to move the characters in a digital world. Next in the pipeline, sets. So for Cars 2, you built the entire city of London? We needed a huge chunk of the city because Vader and McQueen speed through it, so we figured out how to grow buildings with enough variation for them to look real. And we moved through that set with our virtual cameras. Next up? Animation. I do know what the animators do. They bring the characters to life. You see how she's moving but her clothes and hair are missing? Adding and moving those elements is going to be someone else's job further down the pipeline. And by somebody else, I mean me and about 20 other simulation technical artists. Where are you getting all these shirts? We have to build everything you see, including the textures and surfaces, which help make the world and characters believable. Next up, lighting. Ironically, it's really dark in the lighting department. So when you start, there are no lights? No. Any source of light is something we have to add into the scene. In this shot alone, there are 230 lights. Last up, the render farm. A film is really a series of images, or frames. There's 24 of them every second. This is where we make the frames. Everything comes together here. All the art, math, and science. A single frame can take more than 24 hours to render. And that's just one frame. And that's assuming we don't run into any snags. It's always incredible seeing final shots. A simple line drawing I did becomes a fully realized world. When I look at final shots, I see the hard work of all my friends. 
I see the art, math, science, and programming that went into it. But we hope you don't see any of that. We hope you get lost in the story and characters. Oh my gosh, this computer graphics pioneer and Pixar founder Ed Catmull. Can you wrap it up for us, Ed? Computers don't make movies, people do. It is art and it's technology. It is hard and messy, but it is fun. Hey, where'd you get that t-shirt? Wow, I really learned a lot. And there's so much more to learn in it. <laughs>